Tel Aviv. It's not really home yet. Anyway, I was living in this certain area of South Tel Aviv when I heard that my real home in Thornhill was gone. So now I'm living in this crappy apartment here, trying to figure out what's next. You can see here, this is my crappy street. Not really much to write home about. It's got issues of various sorts. I guess when I finished college in New York, I knew I had to go. Just had to go somewhere else. And sometimes it's quiet here, which I like. But sometimes there's a loud voice in my head telling me that I need to get out of here. This apartment, this country, everything. I try not to complain. If I were in Toronto, with my mom bothering me even more than she does here, I'd be even more frustrated. Here I'm independent. Isn't that what I want? I chose to be as far as I could from home. Sometimes I get nostalgic though. I've seen that name. Yeah. And what sort of is he doing? Good things happen here. I like to see. And there's Alex. Alex and I have been together since college in New York. Three years ago? Four? I can't remember. We have ups and downs. She moved to Israel before me and made Aliyah a year ago, just before I got here. She probably shares a lot of my complaints, but is mainly happy here. When I'm around her, I'm happy too. It's distressing for you because I'm not really looking for... I feel like I'm not always looking to make this a home. Because I haven't decided that I want this to be the place where I want to stay. Right. And I'm not pursuing it in that way. That's really hard for me. But I don't... I sort of feel like I'm not going to pursue anything in that way. That might be hard for me, you know? Like, I was educated to think that this place was special for me. And I do feel that way. You think that I don't feel that way? No, not necessarily, but I think that it, the equation of my decision making was different. I made the decision at a point where I knew enough to know I wanted to stay and I wanted to fix things. And it reminds me of a relationship in that, like, it would sort of be like deciding to go into couples therapy and deal with, like, all of her deepest problems before deciding you wanted to get married or be with someone forever. How many years are you in the building? I'm 22 years old. 22 years old? 22 years old. In the building? Yes, but I don't have to go there. How do we live? 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 And the house is not coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. This is my roommate Nora. She's a good person. She's packing up to get out of here. Maybe not to bigger and better things. She's taking her cat Zaza with. Was my only friend when I had none. <laughs> it was yeah, sad to see her go. And I took it as a sign that I have to go to. And now it's gone. It's hard to be a, like an immigrant here. I think everyone pictures it as it's a perfect thing to do. It's not at all. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like also when I moved in, I was feeling very hopeful when I went and also painted all the walls and this like, yeah. yeah. But I don't know, I feel like I've, it's probably not, I don't even know if it's related to the apartment, but I feel like I'm in like a rut, like I was telling you. Like what? Yesterday. In a rut and I'm stuck. I'm, yeah. And I feel like I don't know what I'm, like hanging around, yeah. looking for work, feeling miserable. And yeah, exactly, this is the thing. So for me, like changing flat is a new start. Like. Okay, I have a job, I have everything that I need, I just needed a new flat. But just to feel that I can do something with my life. Like here I feel like it's a transitory place. Like you come here because you don't have a lot of money and okay, uh, and then you figure out what you want and you leave. 
and I figured out what I want a long time ago, but I couldn't because of this flat and all the problems it includes. It's always in your mind, you know. I do things. I tutor English at a high school in Yafo, and I go to protests. And lo, the other week, the government ordered the destruction of seven family homes. How can I even allow myself to feel at home here when there are things like this happening? But I read, I pass the time, try learning Hebrew, try to fit in. Should I do this thing in New York? I want to go to New York. My mom sent me all these things to do in London. Cool. I can visit you in London. Are you free Friday, April 1st? For what? A friends and family tour with Sobring Stika. Maybe. But I wrote a smiley face. Does that make it sound also like I don't want to come or something? Are you not going? No, I want to come. Then I'm going to be your mishpacha. So maybe I should write Tobshi Yishchavarim or something. Short term is okay. Uh-huh. And I don't mind you staying there, but I'd like you to come back home first and get an education and have a career. Right. I'm worried about financial things. Do you ever feel like you miss our old house? Sorry? Right. I'm also probably going to talk a little bit about our old house, because I'm still, you know, in trauma okay. a bit. Well, yes, we do miss our old house, but hopefully by the time you're here, like, we'll have, we'll have to have lots of because for me, in part, I feel like it's... Not coming home to home. Yeah, I feel like it's hard for me. I want to keep the idea of home in my head. And I feel like as long as I don't come back to Toronto, I can still imagine that it's there. Which is, I feel like, what I do. Home is where your family is, not where the actual physical house is. No. But I feel yeah, like I'm really... We sold it now, but we did. It's death. I had this dream, I don't know, a few weeks ago now, that we were just walking by to see how it was doing. And then we walked in and we realized it was open, so we came in and we just continued everything the way it used to be. And we were busy making dinner, and then there was like a knock on the door. And suddenly I had a really bad feeling and Daddy went to go answer the door. And then it was like the new owners, and they kicked us out. bike. I don't feel stuck. I can get out and go places, see all the characters here, on the streets, all the people who I could choose to become if I stay, all the people I never have to if I leave. I remember how I used to bike up and down my old street in Thornhill. I never wanted to go farther than around the block. I think about staying, and I think about leaving. But it's all still foggy. I want to stay with Alex, but I don't want to leave my family. When my parents sold my house in Thornhill, I felt like the very idea of home got pulled out from under me. And I'll build something. I'll build something new for myself. It's just hard with no deadline.